So I'm definitely here in SeaWorld San Diego and it's a hot day. Um, it's actually located not too far from Belmont Park and that's one of the coasters going off, that's Manta. Uh, but yeah, it's a hot day. I'm gonna do some rides, I don't know if I'm gonna do any, uh, we're gonna do some shows, some walkthrough of the animals, but I don't know if I'm gonna do any rides today. But yeah, let's check out the park today. So this actually is where the original park entrance used to be, over here I think. Uh, so kind of cool, it used to be very small and now they've moved the park entrance. Okay, we're going to check out Shipwreck Cafe to see what they have to eat today. So this is their menu and it seems to be very uh, fish orientated. No, fish are friends, not food. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they also have some other meats, uh, like chicken, baby back ribs, and pizza, I guess, is not fish orientated, but, uh, yeah, they do have some fish items here. Wow, you're inside a giant ship that has wrecked into the side of a reef. So I got the penne pasta with alfredo sauce with chicken tenders at the top, and Crystal Got the cheeseburger over here. It looks okay. And there's no place shaded here, so that's kind of a disappointment, but food looks pretty good. So there's this bird over here that's been freaking out a kid nearby at a table. I guess it's the red eyes that may be freaking out. But yeah, it's just been standing and freaking out her little children. Birdie, birdie, birdie. The so lunch is pretty good. Penny pasta, good. Pump. Crystal's burger, they good. Got boys uh, I got players. to try a little bit of her burger too. Keep it here on your it, it's good, it's better than you think. So you get a burger at a theme park, so lunch is terrific. Moving on. So for the music uh, that they have at the SOS place, they actually have like a, a it's like a fake radio station hosted by the, one of the people that shipwrecked here. And he's technically the only person that shipwrecked here, so he's by himself. And during one of the uh, breaks between the music, he goes on to say, oh yeah, don't forget to vote for the mayor. There's only one person running me. So that, that's kind of a little funny little thing. But yeah, we're off to go see orcas. So I don't know if you can see, but the screen in the background there, it's purple and like black, and actually on this one it had a reboot screen on it, so this whole back screen crashed on them. Up. All the water is being slowly turned off. I think people are about to get wet. Another splashing coming. Ooh, got him. Okay, so the orc encounter show, it was actually fun. Um, I'm glad that they found a good uh, compromise between keeping the orcas, but still having a show um, with them in it. Um, it definitely was more educational than it was actually like, you know, having the orcas do flips and tricks and stuff, so that part was nice. I, I think it's a good compromise. They should definitely keep the show and continue because it's a great learning experience. Now we're off. So all the water is drained from the rapids ride here, which is a bummer because it's just such a hot day where it'd be nice, but yeah, looks like it's under refurbishment. And it looks like Tidal Twister up ahead is also, well not under refurbishment, but this one looks like it's actually broken down. Looks like there's only park employees up there. There's nobody waiting in line. 
Yeah, that one's definitely temporarily broken. So it looks like they're testing out Tidal Twister right now. Nobody on it, but you can see how it goes. You have a very slow roll there, and it just basically is one track with two posters on it. So we're gonna check out Aquaria, World of Fishes. And it's right down here, right next to Tidal Twister. Miss the feeding time. Feeding time's apparently at 11:30. There's a sign over here. I'm a piranha. I'm from the Amazon. There's a giant looking glass here, where it zooms in on the fishies. Zooming in. Uh, it looks like it's feeding time here. Oh, nom 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 nom. Oh, fishies like their lettuce. Oh, that is a big fish. Oh, they just narrowly avoided an accident. Okay, so we're headed out of that aquarium bit and into the sun again. Looks like Tidal Twister is still closed, but right outside of here, you have a little uh, petting area where you can actually pet the fish. So there's some stuff in here you can pet, but they actually used to have a whole bunch of starfish. But I guess they took the starfish out because the starfish had some sort of uh, disease going on with them and they are dying off. Hopefully they can put them back soon. Oh, it looks like Tile Twister's open. It looks like they're only loading one side though, because there's people in that one, but no one in that one. I wonder why. There's a giant starfish statue here. It's a pretty big starfish statue. Crystal's looking at the map where we can find Dippin' Dots because it's very hot out and we're both thirsty yet after that orca show. We found the Dippin' Dots. They're hiding back here. Well, not really hiding because they do say Dippin' Dots, but we found them. So they actually have this special flavor here called Shamu Sea Berry Splash. It's blue raspberry with vanilla yogurt with dark chocolate whale pieces. It's actually not whale. It's just cho dark chocolate shaped like a whale tail. So the consensus is the chocolate pieces are not shaped like whale tails at all. <laughs> it's a very tasty flavor. And then for my float I got, it is mostly Dippin' Dots and hardly any Coke, so I was actually looking really for something to drink, but I, oh well, it's still delicious. So it looks like one of their uh, exhibits is under construction, bummer, I wonder which one. Check out this little birdhouse I have. Oh, that's adorable. They should almost attach like a balloon to the top of it or several balloons. So I ended up buying another Coke to go with the Dippin' Dots just so I can pour the Dippin' Dots in there and make it an ultra float. So over here is actually another coaster that is brand new to me. Um, it was recently installed, previous to Tidal Twister, but um, it might have been a year ago that it was opened. So I looked it up. And that one over there is called Electric Eel. They have a lot of roses over here. And it's not too often I see like this yellow-orange colored rose. So that's kind of cool. 
So in case you're wondering what the SeaWorld trash cans look like, it's kind of basic. <laughs> they're very basic. They're, they're basic here over at SeaWorld when it comes to trash cans. You probably can't see, but over here is a curl crested arakauri. Up, oh, it just flew one flew. Yeah, you can't make it out in the sunlight. So we're gonna do the penguin encounter. And it says underneath it, highly specialized trained birds ready to kill at a moment's notice. Fun fact about penguins, they're all secret service members because they're always wearing suits. So don't ever anger one or he might take you out. He has skills, specialized skills, and you wouldn't want to make him angry. This feels like the uh, train scene from Disneyland when you're slowly moving, looking at some environment go by. I'm half expecting to see a dinosaur with a penguin in its mouth. <laughs> So they have a penguin called Macaroni Penguin. Guess what his favorite food is? That's right, it's pizza. I very badly want a penguin to be up on this rock and I could be like, These penguins are watching us. They're just like, who are these strangers in our neighborhood? These are the neighborhood watch penguins. That's, that's what they are. They're making sure you know that all humans are safe and that they're not doing anything terrible. Another penguin exhibit right outside that one. This one's a little bit brighter. I was actually asking Crystal why the previous one was so dark. And she's actually said because it's night time basically there in Antarctica. And so they recreate the same lighting that they would feel in their natural habitat. Chris is sad that this is only a new. Why is it that the youth get all the cute hats? What about the love for adults? We love penguins too. Thank you for visiting the penguin encounter. Up next, we're gonna do the Arctic Simulator ride. We're queuing up for the ride. So we just did the Arctic uh, motion simulator experience and it, it's definitely aged over the years. Um, it, it's very old and it probably needs a redo, the reshooting of the film at least. Uh, the ride itself is fine, but the film is definitely aged. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice if they redid that, but overall it's a, it's a motion ex simulator experience. You can see the helicopter over here for Base Station Wild Arctic. And then right outside the motion simulator is more animals. So we have first the baby belugas. South, and when it recedes in summer or mounts, they do move north. Part of the base station here, I'm looking at when this box of life cereal expired and it expired in 2014 so yeah I don't think they're being fed the best food here so it, it's getting a little cold since we're in this Arctic exhibit uh, I wish I had a sweater so inside of this Arctic base station you actually have the remains of an old ship that was shipwrecked here and they dug out the ice around it and you get to explore inside of it. So, fun thing about this wall here in the station is actually it's, it's an ice wall. So it's actually cold. Like it is freezing cold. Like it is so cold, I don't want to touch it. Also a small ice cave for like kids up ahead. This ice cave isn't actually ice. Oh, look at the seal. Oh, so cute. Here's another view of what the ship looks like. And that's the upper walkway up there. So we're headed out of the Arctic. So right at the end of the Arctic uh, place is a gift shop. 
Let's check out some of the merchandise they have here. You got a cool looking jacket here. It's a decent looking gray. Oh, and they have a Sea World Rescue backpack. Here's some more of this stuff they have. I, I like these glasses. These bottle containers, they're kind of cool. This one almost looks like it's sequins. But no, I, I guess it just bubbles inside. And it's $14.99. Oh, look at the tiny walrus. Oh, tiny walrus. Oh, they have a small Christmas tree here. Kind of weird, but okay. I guess this is their Christmas tree ornament section. There's a little like Shamu whale tail. And it's $12.95 or $12.99. Oh, and they have some penguins and a dolphin over there. The way this looks makes it almost look like a saddle in a way where you can almost like put another decoration on top of it, the dolphin and have it ride it. Oh, and they have a turpus over here. And this one is decorated with walrus, wolves, little sea pup, polar bears. And it's $10.99. Well, hello. Ooh, they have a rolling duffel bag over here for $16. It's kind of a decent design. Ooh, actually, I just saw when you spend $25 or more, then it's $16. Um, otherwise, it's actually $39.99. Okay, so we're headed out of the gift shop, and we're about to check out Electric Eel. Right outside the gift shop, they actually have some oppressed pity machine. Puffin and some other animals. And it's a dollar each. Oh, no penny, no problem. I guess you don't need your own penny. Oh, it's running right now. Oh, look at that loop. So it looks like a fairly long line for electric eel, so I don't think we're gonna do it this time. But we'll come back in the morning one time and do it first thing when there's no line. No idea what the ride is because we were here just like four years ago? Something like that? Probably less, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Where there's no way a ride like this should have gone defunct that fast. So I really wonder what it is. Or Crystal was saying maybe it's not even open yet. Maybe they just don't hide things like other parks. I don't know. Curious and curiouser. <laughs> Looks like there's actually like a screen there or something and you go through it, but it's not running anymore. So I really wonder what happened to it because it can't be more than a few years old. So yeah, if you know what that dark ride was that we just passed that you know we think is defunct, let us know in the comments because we're very curious about it. So they added a whole bunch of small kitty rides over here. There's at least three over here. And these are all new. Cause it wasn't here when we were here last. So there's actually the sign here that says Ocean Explorer. And it looks like this sub looks exactly like this sub. So maybe that's an old Ocean Explorer ride, even though it looks brand new. Oh, I love this octopus art that's kind of hidden in the garden. So we're on the way to find some otters before we head out. We've had a long day. We're not going to stay here all day. Uh, so yeah, we're just passing by the tide pools. This one looks completely empty, so you're just petting sand. So if you want to pet sand, this is the tide pool for you. Oh, in this one, there's a small shark. Bon dun 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 where the otter should be, but I think they've escaped. They're, they're not here anymore. Uh, yeah, they probably escaped and trying to flee the country. So behind the otter exhibit is actually this tank full of pilot whales and they've been making quite a splash. There's not even a show going on right now, but then they're still like jumping up and down. Same with the dolphins over there. I guess they like jumping. Oh, there's the pilot whale. Oh, Crystal's excited about the pilot whale. Oh, it wants some food. Let's zoom in.
Oh, it's getting some food. I found a sloth right next to the otters. There it is. Oh, he remembers me. He remembers me. On the hunt to check out the other otter exhibit that they have here. This is near the Orca Experience. Uh, and it looks like there might be a show going on. So uh, yeah, it doesn't look crowded at all over here. Still really wants to do this. It's an otter experience. See otter encounter check in here. Feel all warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Look at this adorable otter. He's like slapping himself in the face with his toy. <laughs> He's just enjoying that a lot. You can see, but there's an otter in this barrel just chilling out. That's like his own private apartment. And he is chilling like a villain. So, I just came back and he's still hitting himself. Pretty sure there's some sort of food that's stuck in that bowl and, you know, they gamify by making him try and get it out. But they're cruel and they make him hit himself in the head to get it out. So yeah, that otter, he, he loved playing with that toy. And I guess he's hitting it against the glass and not his face, even though it looked like he was hitting it against his face. So I'm sad, I really wanted to try the Sky Tower today. I've actually never ridden it, uh, even though I've probably been here dozens of times as a kid, but yeah, it's closed for today. And they do have this event called Electric Ocean. It's from June 15th through to September 2nd. And it basically happens at night. They have a whole bunch of light stuff and shows, but yeah, we aren't gonna stay tonight. Another night we'll try it out. It's huge refillable jugs here. And they're like 62 ounces. Uh, it's one for 18, you know, two for 16, or three or more for $15 each. And they're just huge, they're just so big. So now we're headed out of SeaWorld and there's the thank you sign at the very end. Next, we actually see a whole bunch of cars in the VIP section, which is basically just front of the row. And as far as I know, it costs seventy dollars to park here, and it, you basically only get the parking. I don't think it comes with any special perks inside the park. <laughs> so we definitely have to come back to Sea World San Diego. Um, I didn't get a chance to ride Journey to Atlantis, but they did repaint it. Did they fix the video inside the elevator? They fixed it by getting rid of it. <laughs> That's oh. one way to do it. Okay then. Um, but I, I do want to ride Electric Eel and uh, Tidal Twister. I do want to ride, I don't know, Tidal Twister, is that right? But That sounds about right. Yeah, I want to ride that one. Uh, there's also a whole bunch of other rides that I, I still got to do again and for the first time. So. And I got to see me a river otter. Yes. I have to find a river otter. I love the sea otters, but river otters will always hold my heart. Mm -hmm. Until next time, see ya.